previous push pull shifter was not that bad, but the design could be improved. So this is just what I did. Hi, I am Studio and this is my garage. Push pull shifters are a great addition to your setup and especially for rally fans. I already made another design, but I always felt there is room for improvement. The design worked pretty well and it needed improvement only in several key areas. Previous shifter structure was a little wobbly. This was addressed by increasing the total width of the shifter arm. Also, I threw in some ball bearings in the mix. Increased width allowed me to introduce some bigger magnets. I always felt some whacking in this area. You can see the shifting force increased almost double with using only two magnets. As always, you can increase this trend by adding more magnets, but I never felt the need to do so. Because of the added material, the new shifter is much more stable and has actually much better feel. Everything was printed at 60% in fuel, which translates directly to much deeper shifting experience. I always felt the shifter throw to be too long for my liking, thus it was reduced by 5 degrees. Key features here are bigger magnets, ball bearings and shorter throw. This led to a much better shifting experience. Overall construction is mostly the same as before, so we start off by assembling the main shifter arm. Next, we press fit the magnets in their corresponding arms. As always, observe the magnet's polarity. After a month of heavy use, both of these arms felt and broke. Weak points were quickly identified and I designed a fortified version. Till now, I still don't have another failure. Next step is to press fit the ball bearings and complete the shifter arm assembly. Despite these ball bearings being with very low quality, they add up much to the overall structural integrity. We finish off the arm by adding the switch button plate. M3 mounting nuts were already pre-fitted in the shifter arm. We continue with assembling the shifter sides. This is pretty straightforward procedure. We start off by aligning the side mounting brackets to the side covers. We assemble them together by using M3 mounting hardware and these 30mm standoffs. I always throw in the mix these fancy M3 aluminium washers but they are not mandatory for the construction. You can easily skip them. After we assemble the main structural standoffs we attach the limiting plates. We attach the shifter arm by screwing in the main pivot to the side. Next are the micro switches which I already attached to their holding plates. We prepare the correct lengths of wires, solder them and assemble the switches to the main body. Second switch I soldered in place so I can have the exact length of wire. Now we finish off the shifter body with attaching the other side plate. You can find two different side plates in my design. This one has a groove through which you can route the cable. After we fitted the switch wires accordingly, we can close it off by mounting the other side bracket. Tighten the pivot screw, align the bracket and finish it off by adding the other two retention screws. 
All side screws can be tightened as much as you want. The assembly still will work fine. Next we add the limiting screws. The design was exactly measured to utilize 16mm screws. After you tighten them properly you should have zero play in the shifter arm at idle position. After you attach the limiting screws, check if the arm is resting properly in the center position and it has no play. This bracket is with Fanatec interface but I also have provided universal one in the files. Strange cutout you can see top side is the quick release for my display rally unit. Next we attach the complete assembly to the wheelbase. Angle and side offset of the shifter body can be easily adjusted in place. What is left is to attach the QR to the shifter pedal. The quick release mechanism was also redesigned and it's much more stable than before. It allows some side offset adjustments. Also you will find in the design file several quick releases with different angles. The paddle I am using here is another project of mine, which is 3D printed part, carbon skin with real carbon fiber material. We finish off the assembly with the quick release walk. I am very satisfied how the project turned out. The shifter is really stable and has exactly the feel I was after. Quick release works really well and it is very easy to switch between my rally wheel and other steering wheels with integrated shifters.